Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to be doing something a little bit different to everything else that's on my channel. I figured that I would actually do a sort of tip video on how to get a good grade at Art GCSE. Now, <laughs> I'm not saying that I'm like the one to talk to about things like this, but I did get a pretty good grade myself. I'm not trying to brag, like I just genuinely worked so hard. I actually worked my ass off to get a good grade at Art GCSE and I figured I would share with you some of my tips on how I got a grade eight. I was literally three marks off a of grade nine. <sighs> I worked so hard to get a nine and I didn't get it in the end, but I kind of know why. So I figured that today in this video, I would share my tips and tricks with you on how to get a higher grade. I actually filmed the introduction yesterday and I filmed this video yesterday and it just didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to so I've decided that I'm going to refilm it today. Okay so the way our coursework worked was we could choose from two topics so we either chose from identity or natural forms. I chose identity mainly because I'd already done a load of portraits for my skill for my DV so I figured that that would fit a lot better than natural forms which actually you could you could do portraits for either but I feel like I'm better at still lives than I am at like flowers and things like that so I went for identity <laughs> but we've got to try and figure out how to do this now because these are ridiculously big the first thing that we did were these like inspiration boards uh, some of my pictures have fallen off which is brilliant um, these are basically just big boards with loads of different artists on uh, and loads of different pictures these are basically you just use these to show that you thought about like the previous work surrounding the topic something that you don't have to do or something that we didn't have to do were these like little explanations I've done here so I've literally just done like a tiny bit of writing explaining who the artist is and like their inspiration behind their work or anything like that uh, next thing we did was create these like picture boards so we literally just took loads of pictures of different objects that we owned surrounding our identity because our topic was identity. That's my mum in the corner. <laughs> For things that we would be able to draw later or paint later. Taking lots and lots of pictures at the beginning again shows that you're exploring your topic but also it gives you more options later down the line when you perhaps don't have as much time and you just want to get a quick piece out you can pick the simplest object on your board. Right, so then we began uh, like sort of looking more in depth at different artists. So we wrote analyses. So this, we chose a painting by, oh God, literally knows. <laughs> we chose a painting by the artist that we wanted to explore. So for example, I chose Frida Kahlo for this one. And then we just went through and literally analyzed the painting. I mean, if you're doing art, you know, you know what you're doing. Um, and then I did a artist copy, so this was the picture, you can't really see it, but that was the picture that I decided to analyse. So I just zoomed in on her face and recreated that in coloured pencil. And then we did a similar thing with Andre Durain. Now this is a prime example of why you just should not throw out any of your work, because I actually did this analysis in, I think it was, got like year eight or nine, and I ended up including it I mean, I added on to it a little bit, so these are two analyses here, I've just realised. <laughs> um, yeah, I ended up including it in my coursework because it kind of linked in, and this recreation that I did was done in oil pastel, and I didn't have any other work in oil pastel, so I decided to include this bit just to show that I can use more mediums, basically, and that, again, gets you more marks. So the same thing with Lisa Moroy, I did, this is really annoying the way I had to leave this out, but an analysis, and then, so more inspired work. Another analysis, we did honestly so many analyses when we were doing our coursework, it was actually insane to the point that I got so like bored with it that I ended up following the same structure over and over and over again. Um, if you want a video on that, let me know down below and I can definitely do a video on how I structure my analyses. I literally didn't even write that much either for a lot of them, so that was brilliant. And then another recreation, this is actually one of my favourite paintings that I did. And then just to spice up the board a little bit more, or essentially fill space because I couldn't bother to write anymore, I just included other pictures from the same artist. Then on to my favourite one, uh, Chuck Close. I absolutely love Chuck Close. If you, 
are an artist and you want to analyse someone that you can write lots about, definitely pick Chuck Close because honestly there is so much to his story that you could write like an entire page about his story alone, let alone like his actual work. Then this piece is actually I think probably my most favourite my most favourite piece that I've ever done um, and this is just a pencil copy of this piece right here which is the, called The Big Portrait I believe and then there's just more pictures of his later work which happened after his accident. This jar Nutella I did in coloured pencil, I did a painting of a ketchup bottle, don't ask me what the shadow is. This has been through some stuff, this piece, honestly, it has had so many different coloured backgrounds and shadow colours and things like that, I just couldn't get it right. In the end I decided to just go with grey, which actually complements the red light really well, so I'm kind of, I think it looks, it definitely looks a lot better now than what it did. So a pencil of a lipstick and then I did like a little bit in colour pencil just to show that I was kind of experimenting with medias and things like that in terms of like what I can use together and what I can't and that had quite a good effect. If you can ever explain your own work, and I wish I did this more, definitely write, even if it's just like a tiny paragraph, explain why you did something. So for example, if I'd have written, if I'd have put a little post-it note here or something and I'd have written um, like I chose to experiment with the media and to include a pop of red to like make it more powerful or whatever, if I'd have written that I think I would have picked up more marks just because it shows that you're really thinking about what you're doing and not that you're just doing it because you've been told to do it, if that makes sense. Did on black paper with, I think I used like white charcoal pencils. Um, yes, they do exist. I did not know they existed when I first got into art, but there you are. I just used white pencil and white charcoal pencils to do that piece and honestly, like although it doesn't look absolutely insane it worked really well because it showed again that I was using different medias and I was willing to experiment with different backgrounds um right so this was a portrait that I did on my dad I did self-portrait again pencil portrait and then portrait of my granddad oh there we go so that's the portrait of my mum that I did in paint again not very good I've never been good at painting portraits or doing portraits in colour um, something that I'm getting better at but I'm still not great to be honest with you and then this one of Harry Potter right then compositions so my compositions you literally just drew out big A3 I don't really know how to explain it, like a mixture of all of your work essentially and just whack it into one piece. Um, I hated these compositions, I hated my final composition, I hated my final piece honestly and that's where I dropped the marks which really annoyed me but honestly by this point I'd like burnt myself out to the point that I just didn't care anymore and I just wanted to get it over with. Um, so I labelled each composition and then again at the bottom I explained what I did with each composition and I also named the artist that influenced the work because that gives you marks. Um, I did like in pastel, I really liked that. And then this one, my other composition was this one right here which I tried to do, this was not supposed to look like this, this was supposed to look a lot different but it just didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. Right, the final piece. I hate this so much. I can't really show you because it's a portrait, so I'm gonna have to like scoop, screw it up. <laughs> um, so this has literally just got pretty much every piece that I've done, or all the best pieces that I did within one composition, essentially. So that was my final piece. I'm gonna have to edit this video as it is and just show you my coursework. If you want to see the exam lot then leave a comment down below and I can definitely do that for you. Right guys that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I know this is something completely different and a lot of people that are subscribed or whatever probably won't want to watch this kind of thing um, but I felt like I needed to do it just because it's something that Honestly, I struggled finding videos on when I was going through GCSEs, but it's something that really, really helped me when I was watching them. Um, I found like enough, but I watched every single one and I found that I ran out and then was it out of the way that I wanted it to, so. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please be sure to give it a big like, big thumbs up. Do I need to do it? I think I need to do it. Give it a big thumbs up, or if you want to give it a big thumbs down, then give it a big thumbs up anyway, because you've got to turn that frown upside down always, and I will see you all later. Bye!